Hello everyone, Ruby here, and today I'll be showcasing a game on the Lenovo Legion Go. The game titled No Rest for the Wicked by uh, From Moon Studios. The game was released into early access yesterday, the 18th of um, April, 2024. And uh, before we start, I'd like to show settings on my Lenovo Legion Go like I always do. And so settings on my Lenovo Legion Go, um, I have it at 2560 by 1600. I have it set to performance. Even though it's being charged right now, is the um, the TDP is just performance, which is 20 watt. I can change that. Actually, let's change that. Let's put it in custom, and we're going to put it on 30 watts for this video here. Okay. And so. Um, apart from that, I have frame limiter, limited to 48. And the primary reason is because the game is very demanding um, in regards to hardware use. Now, apart from that, if I scroll down here, you can also see that my OS power mode is in efficiency. There we go. And my refresh rate is at 60 hertz. Now in regards to frame monitor, frame monitor is turned off because the frame monitor for the Lenovo Legion Go still isn't working as of today. So I'm gonna put that back. And then in the game, let's see here. I'll go ahead and show the settings I have for the game itself. I'll bring this closer to the screen so you guys can see it. And so on display, you can see I have resolution set to 2560 by 1600. I am going to change that. We're going to bring that down to 1280 by 800 for this game. Full screen is set to full screen window. Let's change that back. So we're going to leave it at full screen exclusive. V-Sync is turned to off. Frame cap is off. Brightness, all that stuff. Saturation UI is all 100. Now for graphics. On our graphics, we have it set to balanced. Um, the game doesn't play pretty well uh, when it's set to quality. Render skills at 100%. Sharpness 100. Motion blur 100%. Frame rate independent motion blur is on. Target FPS and X scaling is um, 7 and 80. Now for motion blur, we're going to bring that down. So we're going to bring it down to like 50. Okay. And that's it for our graphical settings for the game. And so here we are, we are back on the main screen itself. As you can see, I've created my character, I've created my realm, and I'm level two because I played it a little bit. And so I'll go ahead and hit continue so I can showcase the game itself. And so while it's loading, like I said, the game was released into early access yesterday, the 18th of April. The game still needs a good amount of work in regards to performance optimization. And so I'll go ahead and start playing it. Now the game looks really, really good. And plays pretty well too. Now the game, even though the game was labeled as a action RPG, it's more of like an action RPG with that plays like a Souls game. And you'll see in a minute with the combat. And so the game is very reliant on your stamina bar. I know stamina bar is the circle that shows up. It's very similar to like um, Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. And the game has crafting in it in regards to... And the crafting I've found in the game so far has to do with um, food items and stuff like that. Um, potions and stuff like that. Oh, the guy parried me there. Mm. 
There we go. And so the combat takes a little bit of getting used to. I am beginning to get used to the combat itself since I played a little bit on my PC. Let's kill this guy here. Oh, I missed my opportunity to sneak up on that guy. There's also a sneak mechanic here where you can execute enemies. There we go. And different weapon types in the game too. Um, the Great Sword does a lot of damage, but as you can guess, with that comes it being pretty sluggish. And there's also a weight um, met um, metric in the game, and I'll show what I mean by that. And so as you can see down here, there is a weight. The heavier you are, the slower you are, the lighter you are, the quicker you can move. Um, the weight also, if you're normal, medium and heavy also depend also determines how you can dodge or roll and stuff like that And this points here are places where you can save your progress, which I just did. Ah, oh, this guy. Man, he almost killed me too. Oh, there's nothing on that guy. Okay. Oh, shit. Ooh, he pushed me down. That's one of the things you gotta be careful about while playing the game. Um, you can push enemies down and they can push you down too. Man, the guys arrange attacks, they're very annoying too. But the game in itself, in regards to the graphics, it's really amazing. Ooh, I almost fell there. Let's see. Oh, there we go. And uh, because I'm using a great sword, I can stagger enemies. So I just got another weapon there, a one-handed blade. Well, I'll keep using my um, great sword. Oh, there's an item here. There we go. Oh, there's a balance section here. Ooh, let's tr let's give it a try. I'm not really good at the balance parts of the game. Oh, I made it. Nice. And so the game encourages a lot of exploration because they're items just about everywhere like just right now i just got those pants let's take a look at it actually oh that's pretty heavy oh let me put this on and so as you can see you also have tools to mine ore to chop down trees to fish stuff like that as you can also see um the armor pieces have um an armor rating but also a weight rating down here. And I'm trying to make sure that I do not go past the medium. 
because um, that's the sweet spot for the way I play when using the greatsword. Let's jump down on this guy here. Ooh, he got me. Let's use. Ooh. Okay, he's done. And so when you're facing enemies, just like with um soul um other souls games, you gotta be pretty careful how you're facing them. Or how you're approaching them, you can't just butter mash this. Um, any, any enemy can easily take you down. Let's see what's down here. Oh, you see, there's a, I need a shovel to dig through that. I don't have a shovel right now. And see what I mean? That's on that chest there. If I did not climb down there, I wouldn't have known there was one down there. So you, the game encourages um, exploration which is pretty good for a game in this genre. Oh yeah, let me show you the um, the crafting real quick if I have enough. And so um, crafting is based on recipes that you get in the game. And right now I only have the mushroom recipe that I got from the ship in the early parts of the or the other parts of the game or the introductory section of the game. And so I have and each item or recipe has crafting requirements. I do have the crafting requirements even I can only make one right now, so I'll go ahead and make it. And you notice that this increased here from 10 to 11. You can acquire um, other recipes in the game from chests or from vendors. I do not know if enemies drop recipes. I've not found an enemy that drops a recipe yet. And so as you can see here, you can see there's two chests. I need to figure out how to get up there somehow. But that's it though, guys. That is... um. Uh, this is the map here and stuff like that and all the different sections for your journal for to track your quests, the challenges or bounties you have your um your character stats screen and your item screen and stuff like that and so that's it guys that is um no rest for the wicked um like i said it was released in on steam yesterday the 19th um, sorry, yesterday the 18th of um, April into early access. And that's it, guys. Happy game. Peace.